Okay, my name's Kobe Ranquist. Um, to start off with, I started when I first found a Ruby in 2006. The first thing I did is I heard about the Ruby meetups on Second Life, so I signed up for a Second Life account, and it's the only reason I went there. Um, those are my email addresses. I am part of the LA Ruby users group, which we're, we are in the process of getting underway. There's a URL there for that. Um, my side project, or one of my side projects with Carl Youngblood is Confreaks. You can see all the conferences we recorded at those URLs plus a number of others. Um, I'm going to show you a plugin that was written by, or a plugin or a gem that was written by one of my coworkers, Jacob Dunphy. Um, it's called Kablame. Why would you use Kablame? Um, basically, someone on your team isn't pulling their weight. Kablame. Uh, you can read the rest of the bullet points. I like the last one, which, as you'll see in just a moment, is exactly why it was created. I uh, just wanted to be a real show-off jerk who wants recognition for all the tests you write and think nobody respects you at the office. This will show them. <laughs> this is Kablame ran on the web tier of yellowpages.com, and Jay Dumphy's got 21,000 lines. Uh, what Kablame does is it uses either Git or SVN and the blame function within it and evaluates all of the code in the repository or in the revision you're looking at and tells you who's responsible for how many lines. Very simple. Uh, so we took it uh, with Yehuda and we ran it against Merb. And there you have the winner of that one. The, so it's a, it's a simple, fun utility. It's more for humor than anything else because all it does is tell you who's responsible for the number of lines in the plugin. Um, the other piece I referenced there, I also work for yellowpages.com. We build a consumer website. We're running on Nginx with Rails. We use no active record in the web tier. We have a service tier, which is also Rails on Nginx. Uh, we use a fast search engine as a back end. Everything's very restful. And we use an Oracle DB when we don't get our data from the search engine. We also develop client apps. We have an iPhone native app team. We have a web app for the iPhone. We have a number of J2ME apps that are deployable on all the handsets. Uh, we also build a ton of stuff with search and data. We have huge business listing repositories, frequent updates from a wide variety of sources. Uh, we've got a bunch of interesting R&D projects going on. We do natural language search. We've got some really fun stuff we're planning with web crawling uh, and voice recognition. And at YPC, we're always looking for passionate talent, including Ruby developers, Cocoa developers, and other smart people. And we have desks. And if you can't see the picture there, that's actually a Russian beer. And the way I refer to it is Ruby's the only language that the Russians found awesome enough to turn into a drink. So you've got a Russian beer, and that's it. Unless somebody actually has questions about yellow pages and this rail scale. Yeah, Brian. Uh, a question about yellow pages. So you're using... Um Rails on the front end, and you're actually talking like some restful stuff to a Rails app on the back end? Yes. That's what I want to know. Yep. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, we're doing a, sorry for the plug, but we're doing a conference in Boston in November called Voices That Matter. Uh, yes. For my senior, for the uh, past weather, the past weather Ruby series. And one of the talks is going to be a, a case study on the open yeah, I'll finish plugging that. Um, I'm presenting at the Professional Ruby, Ruby Conference in November on yellowpages.com. The big rewrite, because in June of 07, yeah, June of 07, they launched a new site, threw away a quarter million lines of Java code, and replaced it with, uh, I forget the exact count, but a lot less lines of Rails. Um, I spent the previous, I've been at yellowpages.com for four months. I spent the two and a half years prior to that as an independent freelancer similar to Terralian. Um, you know, basically doing work out of Salt Lake City, Utah. I looked at Yellow Pages, looked at the job position, and looked at the fact that somebody gave a chief architect enough autonomy to throw away a quarter million lines of Java code and figured it was worth a try. So, 